I am sitting on a couch, flooded with mixed emotions. I'm happy, thrilled, joyful. I'm pregnant. That moment of joy, however, does not last long. A few minutes later, there is another thing coming to my head saying, this is it. It's over. That's it. I'm 33, unemployed for over than a year now. And if you know statistics, you know that soon probably I'm going to fall under the category of permanently unemployed. And I also wanted to be a lawyer. I'm trained as a lawyer, practiced as a lawyer, PhD in law, but in my country, in Poland, no one wants to hire me. There is a year and nothing. I've been in Poland for, for a year, coming back, back from Brussels, and it's nothing. So I think it's over. Who is going to hire a pregnant lady? Luckily, I have my husband next to me who is saying, good, finally you are going to sit on your ass and think. And think of what do you want to do from yourself in life? Do you really want to be that lawyer? Is it something you wish for? So my answer is, yes, of course, I want to be a lawyer because I'm trained as a lawyer. I have PhD in law, practiced as a lawyer, all of that. But you know, when you pose, your, when you pose a question to your brain, your brain starts working in a different way. It allows you to see reality outside of the box you are currently in. It's a different reality thanks to questions. So it wasn't that long that I found my question and my answer to that question. I'm a teacher. I've always been a teacher. This is what I do. This is what inspires me. I want to teach. So, yes, there is immediately a plan in my head. I'm going to apply for universities and for private schools. So with British University, any school is going to hire me like that. Another year is going by, and nothing, nothing. There is a massive change in my life because I already have my beautiful son, but I'm unemployed. According to statistics, permanently at this point. That's over. I feel like I'm losing my identity of who am I? Am I a teacher or, the, or a lawyer or who am I? But when you give yourself time to think, because somebody or you could ask yourself a question, what next, what do you want to do, you are ready to hear the answer. And I'm meeting a guy, his name was Paweł Pytko, and he was my coach for a little while. And when we spoke about this situation, he told me, listen, you cannot be somebody's cost. You have to be somebody's profit. With your PhD, you are fully eligible to start a postgraduate course. Think about it. Create a postgraduate course and sell it to the university. My answer is crazy. That's crazy. That's over. That's, you know, it's too much. It's too much. I have never created a postgraduate course. But he left me like this. Think. So I have created a postgraduate course, and that course was successful for over than two years. That course was dedicated to certain issues of the European Union. However, at some point, you may remember or, or not, at some point, political situation in our country changed, and all of a sudden, uh, European Union started being not in fashion anymore, I could say lightly. Not in fashion anymore. So I had to drop my beautiful project I really like. That was it for that project. That was nothing. So I entered another crisis. Oh my God, I'm again losing my identity. This time as a teacher, used to as a, as a lecturer. But I know that if you ask yourself a question, you activate a reticular activating system on your brain. This is a system of neurons that allows you to pick information from outside reality. And this information is important and vital for you to find the answer. But you have to ask yourself a question. So I'm asking myself another question. So what is it I am taking from this experience with me? What is it that I want to leave? 
what I have learned, what is it that I'm willing to leave behind? Because it's really not worth it to drag it away with me. And the question is, I know that I can create successful postgraduate course. I know it already. But I also know that I cannot create anything that is really reliant on external situations I have absolutely no influence on, beyond my reach, beyond anything. And I'm looking back at that course and asking myself, okay, so what people valued the most during that time and what I value the most? What is it that it's no matter where we are, when we are, we really want to know it, what is it? And it's knowledge about ourselves. We always want to know more about ourselves. Don't you like those quizzes on Facebook? Who you are? Just click, blah, 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 three clicks, and you know already who you are. We just want to know it. So I have this idea in my head again. OK, I'm going to create a course dedicated to knowledge of our brain, to discover just one more piece of what makes us human, what makes us who we are, what makes us to make decisions like, like, like we make. What is it? And I'm meeting another person, and this person is Anya Urbańska, and we are talking. We are talking together, and we discovered that, yes, this new course could be on neural leadership. So how your brain helps you to manage other people, and first of all, manage yourself. And we have created that course, and that course has been successful since, which is, which is good, which is good. It's part of my teaching. I teach a lot more than that course. But that whole journey gave me a massive, a massive lesson. And this lesson is that failure, it is always an event. It's not a person. It is just an event. And crisis, as difficult as it may seem, it's really a good moment for you to ask yourself a question. What do I want in life for myself? How do I want my life look like? What do I want to do? Or even what do I want to leave behind? Had I been given the job as a lawyer when I applied for it, it was eight years ago, believe me, I would take it just like that and I would never ever question it, never. I so wanted to be a lawyer because I was trained as a lawyer, had PhD in law, practiced as a lawyer in the European Commission, so obviously, that was an obvious choice. Had I been granted the job, I would take it. But I'm pretty sure that by now, I would be depressed. Really depressed, because you know what? I hated law, and being a lawyer even more than that. But when we are successful, we do not challenge our situation. And the success can be just evasive. It's not your way. It's not your path. Maybe you have decided on something because of, the, of your education. Maybe you have decided on something because of your parents. Maybe because of your colleagues. Maybe something, something, something else. But believe me, when the crisis comes, this is the best moment for you to redefine your way. I'm not wishing you any crisis, of course, but when it comes, just ask yourself a question. What is it about? Maybe there is some message for me in this difficult moment. There is a saying, there is a story I want to tell you. There are two men talking. One is highly successful, and the other one would like to know how to be successful, how to become a successful person. So the second guy asks questions to the, to the first one. Sir, please tell me what makes you successful? And the first one says, good decisions. Okay, sir, but how can I make good decisions? Oh, you just have to have experience. Yes, sir, thank you, but how can I have good experience that is going to lead me to good decisions? Oh, this is simple. 
bad decisions. Never be afraid of it. Crisis may be the best moment for you to redefine your life and find really yourself. Thank you.